Hey everybody, I'm back with another new release video and today we're going to be taking a look at 2019 Tops Pro Debut. This just came out on Wednesday and I just received my case in the mail today. So we're going to bust this open and see what you can expect if you pick up a box of 2019 Tops Pro Debut. Uh, first of all, there are two autograph cards and also two memorabilia cards per box so that's four hits per box that's pretty nice in a typical tops hobby box you're only looking at one um, of those hits so you get quadruple the hits the only trade-off is most of the players unless you're a big baseball fan you might not have heard of a lot of these players as these are all top prospects all minor leaguers in their minor league uniforms but if you uh collect certain stars like vladdy jr you're gonna Find some of his, Eloy Jimenez, Peter Alonso. So a lot of the young stars are in this set. You can see on the front there, we got Nolan Gorman, Cardinals first round pick from last year. So let's take a look at the packs. First of all here, there's 24 packs per box, nice pack design, eight cards per pack. And um, I'm gonna show you the odds inside of this wrapper here, if I can just get it pulled back there. It's kind of tough to see just because it is foil, so just the way the light hits it and everything. I'll try to get it so you can see all of it. So you can pause it there if you want to read that. I know a lot of you also send in the um, postcards to get free stuff, so there's that address for you. And without further ado, let's get started with uh, 2019 Pro Debut. By the way, this case that I have here cost, um, it was like uh, around $800 or so. Um, you can pick these up. I think they're up to like $850 now. They keep going up in price. And um, there's 12 boxes per case. Uh, so a, a single box of these, I think I saw these going on eBay for around 75 to 80 bucks, but that could fluctuate depending on demand. So we have Forrest Whitley leading things off there. He is the Astros' top pitching prospect. And it, you, you don't really know that by looking at it unless you know a lot about baseball because it doesn't tell you what team the uh, player is affiliated with. Corpus Christi hook. So you just get that. Here's the back of the card. You can see still it doesn't say um, Astros anywhere. I mean, it says that he was drafted by the Astros. That might give you a little bit of a hint. All right, so we have that one. Then we have a nice Blaze Alexander pro debut from the Diamondbacks. That's a nice one. Micah Bello. Oh, here's a good one. Jordan Alvarez. He's tearing it up in the minor leagues. I believe he's hitting, um, I don't know, he's having a great season this year. Then we have Mike Trout. Mike Trout, this is not a real card. This is a 10-year anniversary card. They're throwing it back. I wish that was a real card. You might recall that uh, Topps does those iconic cards or cards your mother threw out. They have like a little series uh, every year. This is just kind of like that. So that is a really sweet looking card. Mike Trout. Seth Beer. Taryn Vavra and Rylan Bannon. So the cards are pretty nice. Um, nice finish on the cards. You can see that. Um, I like them. I like them. I think it's a nicer uh, finish than regular tops, although the design is the same. Nolan Gorman's on the back. If you're a Cardinals fan, you'll like that one. And it looks like we have our first hit. And this is a two card pack. Look at that. You get the Nolan Gorman. And then we have our first hit. It is a Fragments of the Farm Oscar Mercado Columbus Clippers Triple A Championship banner from Huntington Park. That's pretty cool. I've been to Huntington Park once. I saw Dave Matthews band there. Um, I forget the year, probably 2008 or so. Uh, really nice. Fragments of the Farm. And um, they give you an actual piece of the banner that they cut up. That's different. Um, congratulations, you've just received a minor league baseball Fragments of the Farm Relic card. Um, so I guess it doesn't have much to do with um, Oscar Mercado. It's not any of his equipment, but um, a banner that he looked at, I guess, at one point um, when it was hanging in his home ballpark there. So that's pretty cool. That's our first hit. There's four hits per box. So we're going to have another relic and also two autographs coming. All right, next we got Nick Decker. Jonathan India from the Reds, uh, Matt Mercer, Nick Madrigal, Josh Bro, I guess that's pronounced. A lot of these guys, their young players haven't come up to the majors or 
I haven't heard their names pronounced at all, so sorry, Josh, if that's pronounced like Brax or something. I just thought maybe it's bro. Eloy Jimenez, that's a nice one. I believe this is card number 100 of the set. Yep, the honored Eloy Jimenez with card number 100, and that is a nice card. Eloy Jimenez is going to be a beast in the majors. At least everybody thinks so, including the White Sox, who signed him to a long-term deal before he even ever stepped foot in the batter's box. That's a nice one. We got Joey Bart on the back, San Francisco Giants' top prospect. Royce Lewis from the Twins. You're going to be hearing a lot about him. I like Royce Lewis. Griffin Canning from the Salt Lake Bees. Carlos Cortez. Um, let's see if there's any other names. Joey Bart is a good name. Uh, Giants top prospect. He was one of the more sought after cards in Bowman this year, 2019 Bowman. Next pack. Andres Jimenez is on the top. Hunter Green. This guy throws fast. You might know him if you're a Reds fan. Hopefully we see him in, in a year or two. Here's a uniforms, promo night uniforms insert card. Uh, you know how the minor leagues have these crazy promotions. Well, this insert set kind of um, pays homage to those and features a lot of the crazy uniforms. Like there you see a giant gorilla on there. I, I, Zoo Knight. Okay, Zoo Knight. Interesting. Esteban Florial, Yankees top prospect. And Taylor Widener is the last one there. So, so far getting a lot of good prospects. Still looking for our first of two autographs. Bryce Turang leads things off in there. Jason Schroeder, Jeremy Ironman, I guess. Josh Stowers, Lenny Torres. Oh, here we go, Wander Franco. If you know anything about Bowman for 2019, this is the card everyone's chasing after, trying to find his autograph. I personally blame Wander Franco for me not being able to do any more Bowman case breaks because the price of cases is so much right now. They're about $600 more than what I paid for them when I first bought them just because of the hype over Wander Franco. So that's a nice one. Uh, this one's going to Dragon Fan Tim. Uh, Dragon Fan Tim has the Rays in break A, so he'll be getting this one along with all the other Rays cards that we pull out of this box. That is a nice one. Hopefully we get his autograph in here. That would be pretty sweet. Chris Bubik and Alec Bohm from the Phillies is the uh, last card in that pack. All right, our next pack. Let's see what we have going on in this one. Kiebert Ruiz. Seen a couple of his cards coming out of packs before. Anthony Segler and Bobby Dalbeck. Bunch of prospects that most of us have not heard of yet. I know a lot of you, maybe not a lot of you, but some of you follow along with minor league baseball. Jesus Luzardo. Um, I had him on my fantasy team to start the season. He's an A's top prospect. Oh, and we got Vladdy Jr., Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Everyone knows him. He's in the majors now. It'd be really nice to get his autograph. He's the first card of the set. So he gets honored with the first card. Eloy gets honored with the 100th card. We'll have to see what uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. is. Um, but you can see it. Look at those numbers. 331 career average in the minor leagues. 41 home runs. The guy's a beast, and um, I think we're going to be seeing him in many, many All-Star games in the coming years. We got Hub City Hippos Night for the Jackson Generals. Interesting. Michael Chavis, that's a good one. He's tearing it up for the Red Sox down the major leagues. Jeter Downs and D.L. Hall. Not a very good name, D.L., but I guess he can rest easy because um, now it's the I.L. D.L. used to be the term used for disabled list. People didn't like to be associated with that acronym. All right, next we got Clark Schmidt, Jackson Kowar, Nick Sandlin. Oh, looks like we might have an autograph here. It's upside down. Typically that means there's something afoot. And it is. It's our first autograph, Will Smith. Not the actor from Independence Day, but this Will Smith, the baseball player uh, from the Dodgers. Dodgers top prospect or I don't even know if he's a top prospect to tell you the truth, but you can see he was drafted number one in June of 2016, so he's got to be uh, somewhat up there, despite that 138 batting average at Oklahoma City last year um, and 236 career average. Hopefully Will Smith can get his act together and make the major league so that our Dodgers owner can, um, I don't know, cash in on this card if they choose to do so, but that is a nice card. Will Smith, that is our second hit of the day, so I'll put that in the hit pile with the Oscar Mercado. Mitch Keller, Pirates top prospect. I don't know why 
They haven't brought him up yet. We need the rotation help with injuries, but I guess they don't want to rush him. Pirates have been banged up a little bit recently. Trevor Williams is on the DL. Jameson Tyone is on the DL. Chris Archer was on the DL, came back and was awful. So we'll have to see what happens. Nick Senzel, this is a good one from the Reds. Red center fielder. Came up as an infielder, but he's uh, had a really nice first week of his uh, career there. Nick Senzel, his card started to uh, skyrocket. And uh, that's it for that pack. Next pack, still have two more hits coming out of this. Oh, we got Peter Alonzo. So we're getting all the top rookies. Peter Alonzo, I think he's got about, what, 15 home runs right now, hitting about 250 for the Mets, having a great season so far. Taylor Trammell, not pronounced like Alan Trammell, Trammell, Taylor Trammell from the Reds. It's a nice card. Jake Wong. Uh, Andrew, I guess, Neiser. I've never heard of him before. And there's Peter Alonzo from the Mets. It's a nice looking card. Peter Alonzo. The guy can rake. I hope he ends up hitting like 40 dingers this year. If the pace he's on, we're about almost a third of the way through the season. If he's got 15 home runs, you can multiply that by three to kind of project that out. That would give him about 45 home runs. That would be really, really uh, awesome. Evan White, Adonis Medina, Matt Manning, Miguel Amaya, leaps and bounds. This is another insert set in this release. Just uh, tells you a little bit about um, some top prospects moving up the lists of the top 100 or whatever. Adam Hazley, Albert Abreu, Shed Long, and Peter Lambert. So we're about halfway through the box, it looks like. Next pack. We'll be doing a full case break on these soon, sometime this weekend. Tristan Casas, Kyle, I don't know, Isbell, Isbell, Brennan McKay. I believe he's going to be focusing more on pitching. When he came up, he's a two-way player. He was a hitter and also a pitcher, kind of like Otani, but not quite as good, at least not yet. Brendan Rogers, Otani, um, did very well in his first year. Very impressive. Very nice pitching numbers and also hitting numbers. Next, we got Dane Dunning, Daniel Johnson, Drew Waters, John Duplantier. And we have Garbage Plate Knight. Garbage Plate Knight. Rochester Red Wings. Um, interesting. Garbage Plate Knight. I don't even know what is supposed to be on that jersey. Looks like, um, I don't know, a bunch of garbage maybe. That's pretty weird. These minor league teams come up with lots of interesting promos to get people out to the ballpark, and uh, you can't blame them. All right, next pack. Let's see, we got our next hit. It is an Alex Thomas, and it's going to be a relic, so let's see if this is another interesting one. By the way, the back card is Anderson Tejada. Or Tejada. This one is... What is that? It's part of an infield base, and it looks like it was a very well-used base. It's all kind of cracked up. Looks like it's been stepped on a lot. Fragments of the farm. I actually like these. These are pretty cool. Don't know what you're going to get, I guess. We got a piece of a piece of a banner, now a piece of a base. Infield base used at Ogren Park at Allegiance Field, and Alec Thomas might have uh, stood on this base at one point. That's 52 of 99, by the way. It's numbered. Pretty cool. There's the back of it. You've just received a minor league baseball fragments of the farm relic card. Interesting. I like it, Tops. I like it. Cool. We still have one more autograph coming out of this box, so this will be a fun break to do, I guess, um, with all the different relics. Maybe we'll get pieces of rosin bags and pitching rubbers and who knows what else. All right, there's that one. No huge names coming out of that pack. Still have 11 more boxes to do of this. Mackenzie Gore, Colton Welker, Jonathan Hernandez. Here's another insert card, leaps and bounds. Players moving up the uh, pipeline. Tristan Pompey, Tanner Dodson. All right, next up. Looks like we might only have six packs left after this one. On the top, we got Nate Pearson, Sixto Sanchez. Aaron Savale, Sav Savali, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And now we have a green parallel, Kyle Isbell, or Isbell. Sorry, Kyle, don't know how to pronounce your name because I've never heard of you yet. It's numbered out of 99, 55 of 99. Um, looks like Kyle started out really well. Idaho Falls hitting 381. 
So I'm guessing he's on the Royals. He was drafted by the Royals. So really cool pro debut green parallel numbered out of 99. Very, very nice. Christian Javier, Connor Scott, and Ryan Costello. All right, getting down to the bottom of the box. Still haven't seen the uh, Tatis Jr. card yet. Haven't seen, uh, who else did I want to see? Key Brian Hayes, I wanted to see him. Oh, there he is, Key Brian Hayes. Well, I guess he was listening, because there he is. That's one of the Pirates' top prospects. He was the Pirates' uh, minor leaguer of the year for position players last year. That's Charlie Hayes' son. And I'm um, hoping to see him, I don't know, we could use him pretty soon. Third base has not been a strong spot for the Pirates recently, with Jung Ho Gong doing pretty poorly, and uh, Colin Moran being a bit average over there. I think the door is open for Key Brian. Cody Clemens and Alex Kirillov, a Pittsburgher. Uh, this kid grew up not too far away from here. You can see, born in Pittsburgh, lives in Pittsburgh. But unfortunately, he didn't go to the Pirates. He went to the Twins as their number one pick in June of 2016. And um, he missed all of 2017 with an injury. But you can see he is back and absolutely tearing it up. Uh, last year, 362 and 333 with really, really great power numbers. You'll be seeing him in the major leagues very soon. If not sometime this year, then next year for sure. Alex Kirilov. Keep that name in mind. Pittsburgh boy. All right. Next pack. Let's see what we got here. There's another promo night uniforms, and it just says Timberjacks tonight. That's really nothing that off the wall in that picture. Mason Martin and Roberto Ramos. All right, where's our last autograph? It should be coming up soon. We're only down to three packs left after this one. We got Tristan McKenzie again, Luke and Baker, Ryder Green, Miguel Amaya, Andres Jimenez, and no autograph to speak of in that pack. Next pack. Luis Robert from the White Sox. He's going to be pretty good. Chris Paddock, he's having a really good year for the Padres. Chris Paddock. And here's our final hit in the box. It is a Grayson Genista autograph. Um, I haven't heard of him yet. He plays for the Florida Firefox. Is that the, the Braves organization? Yep, I do believe so. Drafted second by the Braves. Numbered out of 50, by the way. 11 of 50. So congratulations to our Braves owner in break A. I forgot to bring my list downstairs with me, but I'll recap these in the break and show you what you're getting. You're getting a Grayson Genista. Or Genista. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name because I haven't heard of him ever. Uh, autograph card very nice so we only have two packs left so let's just open these two up and um see what's in here izzy wilson uh mccormick field that's a nice card ben's biz i believe ben is a minor league writer from um M -M milb.com m-i-l-b travis swaggerty one of the pirates top prospects casey mize see through a no hitter this year in the minors and now we're down to our final pack. Casey Mize is uh, in the Tigers organization. The Tigers could use him since they just lost all nine games in their most recent homestand, which is pretty embarrassing. Last pack, we have a parallel card here of Jameson Hanna. It is numbered out of 50. Very nice. Jameson Hanna from the Athletics, I do believe. Osiris Johnson, Mike Ciani, I guess. Jesus Sanchez and Blake Rutherford. So... Overall, Pro Debut was a pretty fun rip there. Um, I kind of like that a little more than Tops, just because um, those relics were kind of interesting. You get four hits per box, so there's a lot more stuff to look forward to, I guess, in terms of hits. Uh, you get a lot of the uh, rookies and top prospects. And the way these rookies are playing this year, um, this is a pretty hot product right now. Uh, so keep an eye on eBay and see if you can get a box of these for, I don't know, 75 or less if you can. Go for it. And... Um, We'll be breaking the entire case of this sometime this weekend, so keep an eye on my community tab. I will put an update on there for when um, I'm going to be doing that, so you can look for that. Um, I hope you have a great weekend, everybody. It's Memorial Day weekend, so a lot of us have a nice three-day weekend. And if you don't have a three-day weekend, I hope you have a great rest of your Friday night. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Leave a comment letting me know what you think of Pro Debut, and I'll see you all later.